You bring sunshine to others and for that we are glad. May you feel that this blessing is sent to you in hopes the morning is successful in all you do. May sunshine fill your heart this morning and may your day be one filled with happiness and love. In the village of Garabando, a profound and extraordinary event unfolded as Our Lady graced the humble community with her divine presence. She appeared with an urgent message for humanity, a message that reverberates with a sense of impending significance. In her apparition, she conveyed a solemn warning about an impending earthquake, a cataclysmic event poised to strike and devastate the very places we hold dear. The apparition of Our Lady was not just a fleeting moment, it was a profound and deeply spiritual encounter that left an indelible mark on those fortunate enough to witness it. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. A breath of prayer in the morning means a day of blessing sure, a breath of prayer in the evening means a night of rest secure. Before coming to the main part of this video, let's join us and pray together, O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven, promised to send the Holy Ghost to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Behold, O kind, and most sweet Jesus, I cast myself on my knees in thy sight, and with the most fervent desire of my soul, I pray and beseech thee that thou wouldst impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, with true repentance for my sins, and a firm desire of amendment while with deep affection and grief of soul I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate thy five most precious wounds. Having before my eyes that which David spake in prophecy, they pierced my hands and my feet, they have numbered all my bones. Amen. With a sense of urgency that cannot be ignored, Our Lady emphasized that a great shaking, a seismic event of unprecedented magnitude, looms ominously on the horizon. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, you are my great treasure, and I love each of you with all my heart. People who follow my Son must constantly fortify themselves by studying the sacred scriptures, attending the sacrament of reconciliation, and going to receive my Divine Son in the Eucharistic Sacrament since you are always being contaminated by the world. Beloved children of my heart, as summer slowly wanes and September approaches, the residents of Seaview Haven will eagerly anticipate the changing of the seasons. They will revel in the last days of sun-kissed beaches and balmy nights, blissfully unaware of the impending doom that will befall their beloved town. One crisp September evening, as the sun dips below the horizon, casting long shadows across the beach, a mysterious figure will appear on the shore. It will be a woman, her ethereal presence bathed in a soft, celestial light. Her radiance will draw the attention of Daniel, who will watch in awe from his porch. The first signs will be subtle, imperceptible tremors that will rumble like a distant drumbeat. Birds will take flight in confusion, sensing an impending disturbance. Dogs will bark nervously, their acute senses detecting the subtle vibrations that will precede disaster. Still, most people will go about their daily routines, oblivious to the quiet warning signs. As seconds turn into minutes, the Earth's agitation will grow more pronounced. The ground beneath their feet will begin to sway as if it were a ship on a turbulent sea. Furniture will shift, glassware will rattle on shelves, and the world will transform into a disorienting whirlwind of chaos. Panic will grip the hearts of those who have never experienced such a terrifying event before. Amid the turmoil, buildings will groan and creak, 
their foundations strained beyond their limits. Cracks will race up walls, and dust will rain down from ceilings. The streets will become a frantic tableau of people running for safety, their faces etched with fear and disbelief. Car alarms will blare, sirens will wail, and the once familiar landscape will become a surreal nightmare. As the minutes stretch into hours, the earthquake's fury will begin to subside, gradually relinquishing its grip on the land. The once vibrating ground will still, the aftershocks growing weaker and less frequent. The survivors will emerge from their shelters, their faces worn and weary, but marked with the undeniable strength of the human spirit. Beloved children of my heart, Garambandal, Europe, and America must be careful with this earthquake. The development of arms is currently the main goal of the powers, and several tiny countries that are communist satellites and are currently preparing to represent communism in their territory seek to acquire weapons. I love you, I bless you and protect you. Matthew 24 verse 7 For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines and earthquakes in various places. This particular verse is nestled within a profound discourse delivered by Jesus himself, wherein he imparts wisdom about the myriad signs and portents that will precede his glorious return. Within this expansive narrative, Jesus foretells a world in tumultuous flux, a world gripped by seismic shifts, both metaphorical and literal. In this prophetic teaching, earthquakes are singled out as a noteworthy signpost on the journey to the culmination of all things. Their inclusion signifies not only the physical upheaval that the earth itself will experience but also serves as a poignant metaphor for the turbulent state of human affairs during these extraordinary times. Just as the earthquakes tremble under the weight of their own destiny, so too will nations and kingdoms find themselves locked in strife and conflict, nation rising against nation and kingdom against kingdom. In this grand tapestry of signs, earthquakes emerge as a powerful symbol of the cataclysmic events that will punctuate the unfolding drama of human history, leading up to the eagerly awaited return of the Savior. Now, let's join us and pray together. Hail Mary! Full of grace, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.